and the guy used that as an excuse, oh, I've got to go, I've got to go. Now he stepped in, tried to, you know, insult Allah's messenger, trying to use all the satanic verses. Come on, man, like, this has been repeated so many times, and it's become so bored. And, I, and these people are jealous. It, they're hurting inside. The fact that people are accepting Islam in Speaker's Corner. And I asked him the question, how many people accepted Christianity in Speaker's Corner? He said, a lot. What a liar and a kadab. This guy has nothing. Wallahi, Islam is growing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised that his deen will prevail over all of the deen, even if the mushrikun hate it. And you see this right now. People are leaving Christianity. And it hurts him, the fact that now minorities in this country no longer identify themselves as Christians. Oh, did the Muslims force Christians to leave Christianity except Islam? Oh, really? I asked him, which army went to Indonesia and forced the people to accept Islam? Not a single. Not a single. And this guy is a Kadab, he comes, all of these Christian missionaries, you know what they do in Speaker's Corner, right? They try to disrupt the conversation among the Muslims. This is, their, this is their tactic. They're so insecure. Do you ever see them preaching their gospel? Do you ever see them preaching their Christianity? They know their religion is so fragile. There's no haq. There's no truth. So we need to be very careful, brothers and sisters. Do not give these people attention, right? I didn't engage him. He came to me asking, you know, making all these stupid accusations, right? And you know, alhamdulillah, just end the discussion. All this satanic verse, all that stuff has been repeated many, many times, right? So I, I advise the people, brothers and sisters, don't waste your time with people like that, okay? Wa sallallahu ta'ala sayyidu Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa jama'in. Alhamdulillahi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.